why can't the 1 over 3x be replaced it with 0? Okay, let's have a look. Here we have the limit as x approaching infinity of 1 plus 1 over 3x and then raised to the x power. So let's just try to plug in infinity into all the x's and see what happens. When we do that, we will have 1 plus 1 over 3 and the x, well, just put infinity for that, so 3 times infinity and then raised to the infinity's power. And let's just try to reason this out. First, the 3 times infinity is infinity. So this right here approaches 1 plus 1 over infinity. And then I'll still keep this right here, right? One step at a time. Next, it seems that 1 over infinity, if you just have that by itself, of course, that's just 0. So I'll just say 1 plus 0 and then raised to the infinity's power. And then 1 plus 0 is, of course, 1. So this is just 1 to the infinity's power. So the answer is just 1, right? Because 1 to the any power is just 1. Well, not too fast. In fact, we cannot say anything when we encounter 1 to the infinity's power because it's on my shirt somewhere here. This is one of the indeterminate forms. So we cannot draw any conclusion yet. All right? In fact, the answer is definitely not 1. Otherwise, it's not, it's, it's not, it's too easy if it's just 1. But sometimes it could be 1, don't get me wrong. So, what went wrong though? Here is the idea, let me just explain. So, here we have x is approaching infinity. Let me just plug in a big number for x and then observe it you know, along the way for you. Let's say plug in x equals 1000. Right? Not too big, I know. But anyway, plugging 1000 into this right here, we are looking at 1 plus 1 over 3 times 1000 and then raised to the 1000th power like this. And then here's the deal. Of course, this is just 1 plus 1 over 3000. If you work that out, you get 1.00033 and then just keeps on going on forever, right? So this right here and then raised to the 1000th power. All right, and notice if you put this on your calculator, all right, you will end up this right here becomes approximately 1.3955 and then so on, so on, so on. So, as you can see, this number is actually bigger than one, and the reason why is because the base right here is not exactly equal to one because you have some stuff right here, right? If you put a bigger number for x, this number is just going to be smaller, but the base right here is not exactly 1. So I just say not exactly equal to 1. So when people do this, it's just like a quick hand to figure out limit. So if you're working with the limit forms and end up with 1 to the infinity's power, be careful with it. This is an indeterminate form. We have to do more work in order to figure out the answer. So right here, it might be better when you work this out. For the zero, you pull a zero plus, and that's exactly this right here. If, right, here's just a note right here. If you have a limit as x approaching infinity of one, and then raised to the x power, just like this, nothing else, then I will tell you, yes, you put infinity to here, you get one to the infinity's power, but the base right here is exactly equal to 1. So this right here is 1. No problem. Because this 1 is exactly equal to 1. All right? But not this. Not this. All right? So hopefully this is clear. That's it. Of course. No, not yet. I will show you what the answer is. If you just do this, you don't get full credit. Right? So let's have a look. All right, here we go. In fact, this limit is very close to a definition of E. Let me write this down for you. Note, you can take this limit as the definition of E, the limit as some variable. I used t x over there already, so let's use t. t goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over t raised to the t's power. This right here is going to be E. What's E? Well, it's right here which is about 2.718281828459045 and so on, so on, so on. Anyway though, let's see right here we have 1 over 3 and then x. Oh no, so what do we do? Well, 
Let's see, I want to make this equal to that, and let's just do a change of variable. Have a look. I'm going to say let t equals 3x. Can we do that? Sure thing. But this right here is x, so what can we do? Divide 3 on both sides, that means x is equal to 1 over 3t. Yeah? And notice, as x goes to infinity, 3 times infinity is infinity, right? So this right here is the limit as t goes to infinity. And we have 1 plus 1 over, this right here is the t, and then the x is 1 over 3t. How's that? Now, this is what we can do. Check this out. Firstly, we see that we have the 1 over 3 times t. We can use the rule of exponent and write this down as the limit as t goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over t raised to the t's power first and then raised to the 1 over 3 power. Because we multiply the exponents, we can have the power and then to a power. Right, this means you can just multiply the exponent. Now secondly, this is what we can do. This is a continuous function as x goes to infinity, x is not zero, but t is not zero, yeah? So we can just put the limit inside. Have a look. This right here equals the limit as t goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over t raised to the t's power, and then do the 1 over 3 power on the outside. What's this? Well, by definition, it's e. So, ladies and gentlemen, we just end up e to the 1 over 3 power. Just like that. I'll tell you, this right here, if you use a calculator to do it, you do get about 1.39, and here it's 5, 6. Earlier, we had 1.3955. Yeah. But earlier, we used 1,000, right? Now, this is the exact answer for that limit. Before we go, I would like to give you a nice formula so you can finish this kind of limit in like two seconds. A better formula right here, right? I call this the fact because you will encounter this kind of limit very often in calculus two or calculus one. All right, if you have a limit as t goes to infinity of one plus some number a over t raised to some power b to the t's power, this right here will give you e to the a b power. Right. So I call this formula right here the fact because I don't think there's a name for it. So if you take a look right here, what's our a? Well, we have 1 over 3 because you can just put this up, right? And then of course, b is just equal to one. And then over there we have x, right here we have t, doesn't matter. So this right here, you can just say because a is equal to one third, and then b is equal to one, the result for that is just e to the one over three times one. Of course, it's e to the one over three. That's it.